I do not chase, I attract. What belongs to me will come to me. I'm sure you've all heard this affirmation because it's been blowing up on TikTok, but I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's really helped me just get my mindset in the right place whenever I'm having a bad day. I wanted to make this video not just as a vlog, but as a way to share my favorite tips that have helped me fix my relationship with food and have helped me along my fitness journey. First, I want to share with you guys my favorite oats recipe that I've been eating basically every day for a while now. And this recipe actually has a little bit of a hack, so you're going to cook your oats halfway, then mash in some banana, and then when it's done, give it a good stir and add in like a big scoop of peanut butter. I then also add in some water after I add in peanut butter, which sounds crazy, but trust me, it makes it super creamy. It's gonna feel weird and it's gonna seem like a lot of water, but trust me, when you mix it all together, it becomes super, super creamy and it just moves that peanut butter all around and bam. Something that really helped me fix my relationship with food was intuitive eating. I posted a guide on my channel, which I will link here. But the reason I'm mentioning this is because the first tip I want to mention about fixing your relationship with food is to never skip a meal, even if you felt like you ate too much the day before. This was key in not only recovering from my eating disorder, but also helping me fuel my body for my fitness goals. It also helped me just get out of that binge and restrict cycle that so many of us fall into. Hello and welcome to another vlog. So today I'll show you guys like my workout routine or I guess like my daily routine as of recent. I recently just joined a gym and like it's been feeling so good to just have a space to work out again. Then again, I still do some like home workouts here and there just because like I think you can have just as effective of a workout at home and even without weights, like totally just body strength is just as effective. Don't know why you have heard but your sound absurd. Can't you see? When I get to the gym, the first thing I do is warm up with a five to 10 minute warm up session. And I do dynamic stretches and dynamic movements just to get my blood flowing. It is so important to get a stretch in before your workout because you don't want to injure yourself and it's so good for your muscle recovery as well. I like to do dynamic and compound movements like this plank to push up and then I stretch out my legs but you never want to hold a position for too long. I was gonna film my leg workout for you guys, but I honestly got a little too embarrassed. So I was only able to record this portion of my leg workout without any weights, but I'll write out on the screen everything I did for my leg workout. And as you can see, I honestly stick to maybe three or four exercises per routine just because I personally find that it's more effective to master those few movements before trying to get into more dynamic, fast-paced workouts. Honestly, my biggest tip is you only need to do a handful of movements for it to be effective. I always used to think I had to try doing a crazy amount of workout exercises to see results, but seriously, just lunges, squats, hip thrusts, those three movements really help build a booty and just sculpt your legs, and it really doesn't get more complicated than that. Once you've mastered simple lunges and curtsy lunges, you can then pair them together like I'm doing here. I'm making this more of a compound movement by going from a curtsy lunge to a lateral lunge. My second tip for you guys relates to abs, and I've honestly seen the most success with my core by not doing abs every single day, which is quite a shocker. But what has actually helped me get a tighter core is when I'm lifting weights or just walking around, I try to engage my abdominal muscles, and then when I do do ab exercises, I only work out my abs intentionally maybe two or three times a week and when i'm doing ab exercises i really pay attention to keeping my lower back against the ground 
And I really try to do slow movements because when it comes to engaging your core, it's more important to have slow, controlled abdominal movement than it is to go fast and furious. <laughs> After my workout, I'll always make sure to stretch because it's so important to also cool your body down and stretch out those muscles that you've just worked out. I'll also always end a gym session by just cooling down and walking for about 10 minutes on an incline of 6.5. Okay, so I didn't record myself showering because that would have been weird, but got home, showered, changed into my little work from home outfit. I got these for like $12, which is insane. Like, that's a pretty good deal. And they look like Aritzia quality. Like, they're so soft. They're kind of wrinkled because I was sitting a lot in them. But they're super cute. Loving it. But anyways, this is my little work from home outfit. So, it's just so here's my little work from home setup. And while I was acting for the camera, I was actually looking on Pinterest. But anyways, I did do some work. I just had to record myself, which was kind of funny. For lunch, I made tofu teriyaki bowls. Whoa. You're gonna wanna start by cutting your sweet potato into perfectly small cubes. Have your boyfriend olive oil them up. If you're single, get your mom or your dad or your dog to do it for you. Mix those sweet potatoes, get them all oiled up and juicy. Then you're gonna bake these bad boys at 400 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes, depending how strong your oven is. And then I also made some sauteed spicy broccoli. So to do that, I just grilled them a little on each side. And then I steamed them with some water before seasoning it with sriracha, paprika, salt, pepper. For the bowls, I cut up some cucumber, cabbage, and carrots, and I also made a peanut dressing using PB powder, but you can also use peanut butter and just add water to it to make it more watery. For the tofu, I just used the teriyaki tofu from Trader Joe's, but if you don't live in the US, look at the description down below, and I included a recipe for teriyaki tofu at home. Now it's time to build it all together. So I started with a base of mixed greens, and then I added all my veggies on top, Then I finished it up by adding the sweet potatoes and the now cooked teriyaki tofu. After swimming in our freezing cold pool, I got a little snackish and hungry, so I decided to make myself a little yogurt bowl. I'll put all the ingredients on the side here, but the reason I like making this yogurt bowl is because it's so filling and has a really good amount of protein. I also use wild blueberries for extra antioxidants and nutrients and chia seeds for added fiber and healthy fats. But I wanted to give you guys the second tip that has really helped me repair my relationship with food. If you always feel snackish throughout the day or you feel hungry right after a meal, you might not be eating enough at that meal or you might not be eating a balanced plate. And something that is important to recognize and honor is your hunger. So if you do feel hungry after a meal, feel free to make yourself a nutritious snack. Okay, now I'm gonna go meet one of my best friends for sushi. I was really craving sushi and she loves sushi like I do, so I'm excited. I feel like I dress pretty basic, but to be honest, I like it. Basic is classic, maybe? I'm actually really hungry even though I had that little snack, my little yogurt snack. 
And yeah, I'm feeling like today is just like a cozy day. I didn't really feel like wearing makeup. So just gonna head out looking like this and we'll see you guys at sushi. <laughs> If you can't tell already, sushi is probably my favorite food, and if you've followed me for a while, you probably would see that I eat it so often. But after I got sushi with my friend, I changed into pajamas and decided to have a cozy little movie night. So I lit my incense diffuser thing with some lavender oil. It smelled so good. And I honestly didn't feel like I ate enough at dinner, so I got hungry again and I had some of my friend's pesto pasta before having some hot chocolate and watching Netflix. Another tip is about eating late at night because this is commonly demonized for people think that eating late will make you instantly gain weight or that it's just bad because of that fear. But in reality, you can eat regardless of the time of day. It is okay to have moments where you want to have a comforting meal or watch TV and eat some popcorn just to enjoy it. Your happiness and your comfort eating food that you love is just as important as your nutrition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more vlogs.